the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. We're here to figure out if this place is really Canada's most haunted hotel. Hotel opened its suites in 1888 by the Canadian Pacific Railway. As one of the earliest Grand Railway hotels in Canada, its original structure was made of wood and designed by Bruce Price. Unfortunately, a fire destroyed the original structure in 1926. The Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel was rebuilt in 1928, and because it resembles a castle, it's often nicknamed the Castle. It's a year-round luxury mountain resort that offers golf courses in summer and skiing in winter. The hotel includes 757 guest rooms and suites, event spaces for conferences and weddings, several dining rooms, a grand ballroom, a spa and a terrace garden. The beauty and luxury of the hotel didn't stay unnoticed. Many celebrities have spent some nights at the hotel as well as King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II. They visited the hotel during their 1939 royal tour of Canada. Perhaps they have encountered one of the ghostly residents during their stay. There are several ghosts that haunt. This beautiful historic hotel, there are also some haunted rooms. The haunting in one room were disturbing. It was closed off from the public. I have your attention now. Haven't I? Guests have reported having pillows yanked from under their heads while sleeping in room 692. Some have even been pushed out of bed by an unseen force. Who haunts this room is unknown, but it's haunted all right. of Sam Macaulay, a genial old Scotsman, who was head bellman during the 60s and 70s, have been circulating around the hotel since his passing in 1975. Supposedly, Sam is a helpful sort of spirit, and most stories involving him mention some service he's provided to staff or guests. One incident involved two elderly women calling the bell desk for assistance after they found their key would not work. The regular bellman was occupied with other duties and didn't respond for 15 minutes. By the time he arrived at their door, it was unlocked. One of the women set an older bellman in, a plaid jacket matching Sam's description exactly, had helped them. Other stories including guests seeing Sam, haunting his old office now a guest room, on the mezzanine floor as well as seeing. Apparitions and feeling cold spots on the sixth, seventh or ninth floors of the hotel.
they'd rather not mention room numbers. There are specific rooms that staff say are haunted. Guests have reported having the pillows yanked out from under their heads while they slept or even being pushed off the bed by some unseen entity. Whatever spirits haunt this room, it's safe to say that if they can't rest in peace, they want to make sure you won't either. Another room that shall remain numberless has a story, with many variations, but the gist of it is that an entire family was murdered there and ever since. Guests in the room have reported being awakened by screaming. When they turned on the lights, they would see bloody handprints on the mirror, depending on who tells the story. The handprints either disappeared before hotel staff had a chance to clean them or wouldn't come off at all. In any case, if you visit the floor where the room should be, you'll find it's been completely covered and is inaccessible from the hallway, which is either to keep guests out of the supposedly haunted room or due to renovations, depending on who you ask.
probably the most famous of all the specters. Residing in the Fairmont Banff Springs, she's even featured on her own stamp and coin. The story of the ghost bride dates back to the late 1920s. The story goes that on the young couple's wedding day, the bride, decked out in her wedding gown, descended one of the hotel's marble staircases. Something startled her, causing her to slip and fall. Some say she caught her heel in the hem of her dress. Others say her dress brushed up against a candle's flame. Whatever the cause, the end result is the bride died on those steps. Since then, hotel staff and guests alike have reported seeing a veiled figure moving up and down the stairs, or seeing a figure in a wedding dress dancing in the ballroom upstairs, pining for the first dance with her husband that she never had.
Missing Room 873.